All right, we're gonna go ahead and begin now. I'm sorry it took a little while for us to get started, but uh, I am dealing with a few moderator things right now. Uh, so basically, uh, I have some new mods. I ended it a day early. So I've got a bunch of new stuff. Rooster, you are one of them. So welcome into the club, Rooster. Mr. New Mod. Uh, yeah, so basically, like I said in my Discord announcement, we've got a few new mods. We, uh, basically, it is Idiotic Scumbag, Rooster Bugalugs, and Diamond are new mods, and uh, Gamgazzy and Idiotic Scumbag are now Discord moderators too. So that is what is up with that. So, for right now, we're just gonna go and commence the dang it grandpa hello desperate ninja welcome we're just gonna go ahead and commence the the danganronpas today let me switch to game capture hello oh it's still so cool i still love doing that but uh yes everybody we are here playing the dong i'm oh, sorry i love doing that so much anyways we're gonna go ahead and begin. Last time, we basically just got into it. Monokuma showed up, we met everybody, and we tried to escape, couldn't quite do it. That's all right, though. Uh, something tells me we cannot give up hope just yet. Let's crack open the cold one with the boys. And let's get into the dang it, Grandpa. All right. The UI is epic. Oh, I agree, 110%. By the way, uh, after studying the mic audio from last stream and uh, two streams ago, I've decided that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Do you remember me? Of course I remember you. You were the guy who wanted me to play Fortnite. <laughs> Would you like... Yes. Uh, wait, no. Not that one. This one. I'm so used to only having one save point, but I'm having more this time because I don't know if there's multiple endings or not. I don't, I don't know. All right, we're just going to go. Uh, continue. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to play this game again, chat. By the way, neither of my parents are home, so we can scream as loud as we want. Okay. Ah. <laughs> mm. Alright, so I think we're just headed to bed. Let's just head right into bed. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> really. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. Oh. It's, I, oh god, what, Mr. Freeze! That's who I'm thinking of. <laughs> Everything that had happened. I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. That's a thought. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. Also, it says in your title, who do you think is gonna die first? I don't know, that's why I'm asking the title. <laughs> that had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier, because I'm blessed with that talent. Yeah, then the death school. Is this some sort of DLC of Lego Batman? No, this is the Danganronpa V3, like the next uh, game. The Lego Batman that you're used to was a spin-off game. We're back on the main series now, Pancake. Do you have a guess? I, I, I genuinely don't. I think Samugi will probably die first, because she looks like Sayaka, but that's literally my only reason for that. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Dude, what if Kaede is like a massive yawner? Monokuma Theater! Oh, I'm ready for my first. Okay. New students of the Ultimate Academy. Congratulations! The weeds here have grown thick with joy as if celebrating your entrance into this school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you ever feel lost, don't feel shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. And do let's do lots of killing too. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that'll do. Jesus. Uh, who was that chick? She's gonna die first, like in the movies. Jesus. Hey, hey, Diamond, welcome. You are back as moderator. Uh, one thing I gotta tell you, though. Don't abuse it, please. Don't, like, time out or ban anyone who didn't do anything wrong. And by the way, insulting me? or like insulting my game skill is not a timeout or bannable offense, all right? Allow it, I allow that. Hey, you refunded my channel points? Yes, I did. I went back and refunded your channel points for every time you requested me to do an Indian accent. 
mod gang. <laughs> Rise and shine or something. Yep. Uh, yum yum. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. So, all right, this is just the morning. I wonder who's dead. <laughs> okay, have fun. Thank you very much. Have you even looked at my mod application? I did though. I actually did. I looked at all the mod applications, and I, I mostly based on the last question is how I made my choice of who to give mod to. It was mostly the last one. View it was also if it was it was also some terrible dream. Ha! Huh, wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Oh, dude. I am excited to play this game so much, dude. Alright, uh... You spin me right round, baby. Right round. Okay. No, not Karumi's room. Gosh. If you want to pass application, just say your mom. Works every time. Yeah, that was yours, right? I You didn't fill one out. Courtyard! Ah, hello, courtyard. You cardying my yard? Sounds good. Can we use the side door, actually? I want to see if we can use the... Hey, hello, Samugi. Are you gonna die on me first? Morning, Samugi. Oh, good morning, Kaede. Huh? By the way, chat, uh, when are you playing Among Us? Whenever Cassie next wants to. What's the matter, not feeling well? I woke up a bunch of times last night, and each time I realized this all wasn't a dream. But even so, I still woke up this morning hoping it was a dream. And in the end, it still wasn't. Yeah, yeah same here. But we gotta face this reality. You're right, we need to fight against this reality and... Oh, sorry for the weird conversation so early in the morning. I bet everyone's waiting. Yup. Go ahead and twiddle be out of here. Why don't you? Let's go into the dining hall. <laughs> it looks like I could enter the school building from here, but it's blocked off. Oh, we gotta go... Oh. Gotta go normal ways. Why not, I guess. I don't mind Samugi. I don't know why Rooster hates her. I mean, I know why. I just don't get it. Hey, Shuichi. How's it going, man? My main man. Shuichi. Morning, Shuichi. Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm... I was just on my way there. Um, hey. Kaede? Yeah? Da, da, da. No. Ah, it's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. By the way, chat, if you weren't here last stream, we held a poll and we officially declared that the female version of Chad is Chayede. So, um, yes, if you ever meet a female Chad, you refer to them as Chayede, alright? <laughs> and that's kind of how I guess, oh, I love it, dude. Chayede, absolutely. You know what? Hold on. You know what I have? I could be just like my boy. You know what? I'll save that for later, actually. Let's let's focus on story right now. Oh, everyone's here already. Uh, uh, you've caught me in a precarious situation, Karekio. Now, all of us has arri have arrived. <laughs> I'm glad. It looks as though there were no victims. That's hello, nice. hello, Seven. I was lurking watching Diff's stream, but when that happened, I saw it and voted for Chayede. But of course! By the way. By the way, are you okay, Kaede? Huh? huh? What do you mean? See? Well, you look really bummed out after everyone started blaming you yesterday. Wait. Hey, what are you doing all of... So Seriously, you guys are all so mean. Poor girl. You were the one who did it! <laughs> Bitch! Okay. She tried her best to encourage everyone, and you sore losers got mad at her anyway. That's enough. What's the point of bringing that up again? Hey, Actually, didn't you blame Kaede first? <clears throat> uh, now it's my fault? Why are you guys ganging up on me? <laughs> you guys are terrible, so horrible, so mean! <laughs> You're too noisy. Cut it out. <laughs> when you're doing a Discord poll? A Discord poll? What is that? What do you mean by that? But it's true, everyone blamed Kaede without taking any responsibility to themselves. Uh, yeah. Hey, come now, everyone's probably just tired. Yeah. Shut it, that's no excuse! No, it's okay, it doesn't bother me. I... It's just, I should have been more considerate of everyone's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel, so I'm sorry. Well, if you're fine, <laughs> like... Oh, I was literally... <laughs> Alright, well, if you're okay with it, then so am I. Dude, me and Kaito, same wavelength right here. You cool beans! Now everything's settled. Hey. But di you did blame her first, didn't you? It's a lie. Well, that was a lie. You know, one of those lies to make us more united or whatever. 
<laughs> Did you know that half of my lies are actually told with good intentions? What are you saying? Now that sounds like a lie. Um, let's just forget about it and discuss something else. Like murder. What? Okay, let's all think about ways to get out of here. Helicopter. Helicopter. Before you do that, I have an announcement! Ah! <laughs> Hey, don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress for my heart. She's gonna have a heart attack and die. <laughs> can you- God, can you imagine? Samugi just like has a heart attack halfway through the game and fucking just dies. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. So you did mean to surprise us. Well, your announcement. It's not terribly important, but it's easier to stay alive by being an obvious kitty two-shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. So I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing by killing game by giving you a motivation to kill. Motive. Motivation to kill. In short, sorry, I have to burp. A motive. That ought to add some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer is exposed, they could whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. What are you saying? Your logic is impossible to understand. I think I said this last time, but like now that I've had a moment to sit on it and like I edited the first video, Kibo does look like Makoto to me. I think Kibo looks like, like, everyone looks like Makoto to me, personally, like, first it was Nagito, and now it's Kibo, like, I don't know. Your logic is impossible to understand, but the, you guys see the resemblance, right? I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Okay. We're, I'm recording. Oh. First blood perk. Is that the new COD Zombies perk? Hmm? What? Are you kidding me? Not not Kayede, Kibo. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, someone's just gonna like whip out a fork out of the dining hall and just like stab Himiko in the neck with it. Like, <laughs> oh my god. No class trial will be held? I'm sorry that I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold a class trial at all. Please just relax, calm down, and kill. After all, the first one's free. Really? Huh? That's all? We just gotta kill someone to get out of here? That's all? What that's supposed to mean? Oh god, Mew. Please just calm down. First blood perk? Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. And on top of that, I have a hidden immunity idol for anyone. <laughs> You say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? There's no way I'm happy. Stop, Stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? It's fun for me. Quickly, Kaede. <laughs> uh, hmm? Kaede just like immediately. She like rips her hair spike and like stabs Shuichi with it. No, Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? No, probably not. In your dreams, loser bear, only trapping us and making us kill each other. Pfft. Loser! God, we're not gonna lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. I say random stuff. Alright. <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. Yeah, Mew is kinda sus right now. You should be focused on how to play and to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Why, you bastard! I see. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Mama Kuma. Huh? What's that? We all know it's better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? But if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else gets. It's an incentive to betray the group to give yourself an advantage. With that in the back of all of our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that, think that tanks Kaede's plan to get us to cooperate. Huh? My plan? <laughs> and if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more likely that we'd cooperate. Unlikely. It's likely he created this perk for that sole purpose. When are you playing Warzone? As soon as my PC is strong enough to handle it, man. As soon as my PC is strong enough. Right? I bet you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's better to just kill. What? You... It seems you are quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? His objective doesn't matter. I'm not... I'm through letting him have his way. I've had enough! Kaito Lun... No! Don't fucking do it, man. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. I don't want you to get murdered. Hell yeah! Looks like we got ourselves a volunteer! Finally, it's time for the Exosols! 
We won't let you lay a hand on daddy. We want daddy to smile every day. You bastards better pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with us. What, what do you guys play? Oh, fuck. Don't kill Kaito, please. Oh, Jesus. At that moment, we heard menacing mechanical noise. The Exosol's charged. Oh, sh is he dead already? Smash! The sound of crushing metal echoed throughout the key <laughs> Kibo. <laughs> they got Kibo on accident. They mess up their Ks. And then a final gasp. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh? Father! got turned into a pile of scrap metal! This is Monodom's fault somehow! Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. What is this? What's going on? Jeez. I'm not sure what's going on, but Monokuma's in pieces. Serves him right! He just got what he deserved! Do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that will appear momentarily. Yeah. There is no spare! Don't trivialize life like that! What? When father was still alive, he used to tell us cups that we must cherish life because we're like snowflakes, unique in every way. If only one existed, then does this mean Monokuma is dead? Poor daddy, let's at least bury him with full honors. Yeah, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. Whoa, we're at it! We should toss in some carrots and potatoes too! Oh, maybe add some leftover curry too? You know, the sweet kind, my favorite. You'll want an extra large side of rice too, right? Now that we're the new headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get stronger. Oh my god, is Monokuma actually just out of the picture? There's no way they do that. Not for those little shits. Um, what's going on? Anyway, Everything's a complete mess now, but if there's no final boss, then that means this killing game is cancelled! They brought up his tweets from ten years ago! Couldn't stand a chance after that. Huh? Cancelled? Yeah, now that Kokichi is saying it, I don't think it's true at all. That's just the Kokichi effect, you know? I don't think so. Monokuma is just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. Don't worry. <laughs> don't be such a worry war. Everything's definitely over now. With the mastermind gone, considering this game is pretty much impossible. Which means we win! Yay! We did it! <laughs> so we're not in danger anymore? No, you fucking idiots. Oh, so we do it. Do we just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up, or I don't know what game that. I don't know what thing that's a reference to. Oh boy. That's wait a minute. We don't know that yet. <laughs> Kayene, quit being a buzzkill. Everyone's still annoyed about what you did yesterday. Huh? But I didn't mean it like that. Well. Or is there still something you would have us do, Kayene? Don't tell me you want to take on that underground passage again. Right already. Quiet. We know it's impossible. Oh boy, sorry. Okay. Whatever, looks like whatevs, looks like we're done here. Phew, what a relief. Da da da. <laughs> yeah. Alright, wrap it up. Game's over. It's been a pleasure, everyone. <laughs> After Kokichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I decided to return to my room. And plan my <laughs> plan my death. Mm. Very sad for what, Monokuma dying. <laughs> right? Very sad. Uh, I miss him already with his one side that's black and the other half that's white. <laughs> I miss how he used to laugh and get really close to the camera. I miss him so much. Okay. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Why? I wanted Monokuma. <laughs> the intercom in my room rang. The intercom is someone at the door. I quickly wipe my tears and open the door. I wasn't crying. I don't miss Monokuma. Oh, Kaede. Are you okay? I miss Monokuma too. <laughs> Monokuma died, Rooster. Kaede, are you all right? Yeah. Oh, Shuichi. Um, what do you mean? I'm not sad. If that's what you're wondering, <laughs> why, Rooster? Jesus. I'm... Kaede, it's not your fault. Huh? huh? I knew. Monokuma was destined to die. <laughs> You couldn't have changed anything! The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together, then crush our hopes. You might be right. Shuichi, listen to your boy Shuichi. I know that, but I just wanted to escape with everyone. You stupid bitch. You know? 
But it's all right now. Everything is over, right? Um, Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Huh? What? You believe in me? Is that all right? There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library? What's gotten into Shuichi all of a sudden? <laughs> it's where I want to propose. I always liked libraries. Suichi is precious. Do not hurt him. Oh, we're gonna hurt him, all right. We're gonna kill him. Take advantage of the first blood perk. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna. He's. He's. We're gonna lead him to the library and murder him. Mm. Ah. Oh. Hello, Gonta. Good to see you. All right. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Kaito. Glad you're not dead. That thing would have freaking over there would have freaking killed you, man. You still, um, still wearing your jacket really weirdly? I mean, hell. I wish I was cool enough to wear a jacket with one sleeve, you know what I mean? I wish I was cool enough to do that. I'm not, though. <laughs> and slippers, by the way. Anyway, who do you think is not gonna die this chapter? Well, uh, Kaede and Shuichi. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. Maybe Shuichi, but definitely not Kaede. And probably not Shuichi. I think Rentaro is really important, so I don't know. I don't want. I don't know. I think it's probably Samugi or maybe Tenko or. Ah, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say Mew because I feel like they'd keep her around longer than that. But then again, Teru Teru died first chapter last time, so I don't know. Uh, like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of musty old books. I flipped those words around. Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this a secret. Okay, got it. <laughs> Pinky promised me, Kaede. Kazuichi lived true, but he wasn't a pervert. He was just a <clears throat> shrimp. Uh, Shuichi looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain it in exacting detail. Remember. <laughs> Remember, the library has books scattered everywhere. Even books lying on top of bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Really? I never would have fucking noticed that. Oh, that one? Huh, you're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What? A Dude, ultimate detective out here, for real. I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand between the gap. Oh my god, it opens. It opens! Oh! Wow! And moved to the bookcase. Whoa, it well, I, I don't want to take any chances with that word, Diamond. I really don't. I mean, I don't think I'm relevant enough to get banned for saying that, but no chances. <laughs> A door? Oh my god. Black and white door! It must be the Monopoly Man! <laughs> the pattern on the hidden door is black and white, just like Monokuma. Hey. hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's... I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Huh? You can't? Is that all right? But the very fact this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There is a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? So, are we talking about a spy or the mastermind? Because there have been both in both games. So, wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Hey! It's only- Hey! Calm down! It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the Monokubs or Exosol protect it and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can't think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. I can. <laughs> I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set out a little trap on this card reader. Chihiro, <laughs> I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. Bro, he's got, got like bags of dust to like sprinkle into places? Bro! And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. So if we see dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, right? Well, well as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. Oh my god. But if it is true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Chaede. You Chad. Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. Yeah, right. 
mean? I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Because I have a crush on you, clearly. Yeah. I'm waifu bait. <laughs> I'm husbando bait. Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. Like, Shuichi, I'm seeing him as, like, case 5 killer, maybe. After putting the moving bookcase... Either that or he lives. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. Mm. Mm. I'm thinking... It's probably the spy, because their wording of cooperating with Monokuma doesn't imply mastermind. Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I've showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah, I understand. Panic at the killing school. <laughs> Having made our promise, we turned to our own rooms. We turned, and then returned, and then kept spinning like a record baby. Okay. Ding dong bing bong. I'm clearly your hetero bearing. <laughs> That's a great line. Hello, Monodom. How's it going? You're my favorite uh, Monocub. I hope you know that you're loved and valued. Okay. <laughs> so if you're a spy theory... <sighs> Rantaro. Alright, just one. The other Monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma. Ooh, darkness. Time. Well, anyway, what Shuichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. <clears throat> but Shuichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. Rantaro's too beautiful to be the spy. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. My name is Rantaro Mami. <laughs> Monokuma Theater! Wow, we're already out of material. It's like closing time at a sushi restaurant. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory's been awful lately. I wonder if it's because how long the series has been. It's been four games. Chill out. You're no Final Fantasy. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? F four. It's easy. Or I guess like a V. Three. Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they released so many th It's been four games and an anime. It's chill out, Monokuma. Oh, well. Anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Uh, please send your manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, you'll receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize. Don't miss this opportunity. Send your applications today. Oh, that's rough. He's... <laughs> I don't know if they would do the same as in Danganronpa 1. I don't know. <clears throat> Or maybe it's Gonta! Maybe Gonta's the spy, because Sakura was the spy in the first one? Oh, maybe. When you play Among Us, whenever Cassie wants, you know? <laughs> this is Among Us. Yeah, it's just Among Us, but anime. This is anime Among Us. It's early. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation stole my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Have they already gathered? I guess I'll go for now. Hello, my good man, Ryoma Hoshi. <clears throat> morning, Ryoma. Oh, uh, we're way past morning by this point. Huh? Oh, really? Didn't the morning announcement just play, though? In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In the day, we do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived a frighteningly disciplined life. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess? <laughs> healthy body, healthy mind. That's a bitter irony. Oh, that's right. Ryoma was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? I'll make it up to you later, Ryoma. I'll pick you up in my arms and pet your little tiny head. Your, the one on your shoulders. A uh, high one meter tall man. Guys, red is sauce. True. Oh, God. Look at him all the way over there. Look at that freaking dweeb. Gosh. Go eat a salad, nerd! Oh, gosh. Sorry, I just had to... Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, Kibo. What's, how's it going? Alright, let's go. <laughs> I still don't know how to do that laugh, dude. It's really hard. <clears throat> it's like... I don't know. Tenko! I like you. Speak to me. Speak to me, girl. Morning, Tenko. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. Good morning. What was that all about? 
Well, I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some light exercise in the gym. But I'm still full of energy, I'm so I'm shouting to burn it off. I see. Anyways, inner exercise makes me hungry, so I'm gonna head to the dining hall. See ya. Bye, Tenko. Do you want a twirl? Thank you for the twirl. Big twirls in the chat. Hey, I already spoke with you, Samugi. You're kind of boring. No offense to all the Samugi stands out there. <laughs> mm. Do robots have dicks? Depends on the robot. Yeah. Kibo, does he? I feel, like I feel like Professor whatever the name was definitely would put one on. If you wanted to make a real boy Pinocchio style, definitely. Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. Yeah, seriously. Now we can all be friends despite no way to get out of here. Let's just, let's all just settle down here, have some families, you know? It'll be great! <laughs> Yeah, I slept well last night, and also I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. Oh, good job, Himiko. Good job. I'm proud That's of you. Amazing. You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. Okay, well... <laughs> Thanks, be to Atua. Thanks, be to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. I see. This Atua seems to act in secret a lot. Because Atua, is because Atua smells of danger. Oh, but when someone coming to get us? Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. As a robot who does logic and stuff, that's the conclusion I've came to. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Why the long face? No, no. It's nothing. I figured no one will listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Mm. But is this really how this ends? Without thinking, I'd blurted that out loud. Now everyone was staring at me. God, Kaede, you are not good at making people like you, huh? Um, I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. <clears throat> I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? Because I do. <laughs> That's not true. No, not at all. Then don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank. <laughs> uh, hey, Kaede, I don't know what you're so worried about. But Monokuma's dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know? Oh, here come. And that's my cue to appear, Kuma. Where? <laughs> ah! Monokuma. He's still alive. No, no, are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma, Kuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jiba Kuma, Kuma. Jiba Kuma. From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but you'll eventually get used to it. I like the cat ears. Huh? Did I slip up? No, duh, you fucking fraud! Go find another car to run you over, and this time stay dead! Oh, jeez, that's such a low-level cosplay, I can't bear to look! Uh, I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are buzzkills! I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me! I don't watch that show, I'm sorry. This is why I hate teenagers! I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd! Oh, could you imagine that, bro? Warriors of Hope? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Mama, 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 Geez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? What? what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive! No way! Papa Kuma's too hip and modern to resort to the death as cheat trope. I bet the yokai did it. No, that bit's already over. It ain't over yet. I, I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. Uh-oh. You should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body's in the stew pot? Wow, which Papa Kuma's the real one? No, they're both real. Huh? But father, you said there's only one of each of us. We're unique like snowflakes. Thank you, Rooster, for the posture check. Ah, check it out. Oh, well, yeah, well, there's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. Okay, that's good to know. Gah, why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't get to have spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? Huh, what does that mean? But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of bops. 
Just activate that machine. You can have as many spare pops as you want. Oh god, what's gonna happen? <laughs> can you hear that? <laughs> Test. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Mono Fanny licks back. What the heck? Mo Why is Mono Fanny licking back? What? <laughs> yeah, facts. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> oh boy. I like Monosuke too. I like him. Well, that was disturbing. When I see you guys, I just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. Bro, wait, I'm your parents, bro. Kotoko would hate this guy. <laughs> I, sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue, the killing game is going to continue. Yeah, no shit. Now we're going to do the rock, paper, scissors tournament. What a pain. That's not the problem, donkey face! What do you mean the killing game is gonna continue? I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. No, it's definitely not okay. So that's how it's going to be if we want to end this. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. Is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? Mm, okay. Additional motive! God, I love this screen, dude. This screen is great. Okay. Hell yeah. A million dollars! A time! interesting okay so by the way interesting thing to note in the past two games blood has been pink right that's a constant but they've always called it red they've always just said red as if it was red now they're calling it pink so they're calling it the color that it actually is i wonder what that means it probably doesn't mean anything but like i'm thinking deep into this they're actually calling blood pink now instead of trying to pass it off as red. That's interesting to me. T time limit! What? What? Everyone will die. What? That's not fair! Jeez, why do you guys even come to this school if you're not gonna do the killing game? Might be mistranslation? I don't know. You're the one that forced us to come here! Quick question, father. What do you mean by countless monokumas? I thought we were up we were up once time ran out. Damn right! Let the exosols do their thing this time! No, no. But I'd rather not go through that again. Again? I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... but if we let the exosols get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? The merchandising rights alone will make us richer than sultans! Ah, sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... I won't let you kids ruin your futures! You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures! God, the warriors of hope would like a phone call with you, Monokuma. Daddy, you love us so much. That's enough. Oh, you're still here. Of course, we never left. Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. Yep. Mouse? Hello? Oh. Foo-hoo! Then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You bastard! Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well. Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. Oh, but the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Oh. Hell yeah! And then if they don't play, then they're gonna they're dead anyway, and that's way more gory! Mm. I see. If it's gratuitous over the top gore, I might be able to stomach that. Mm -hmm. Forget the killing game then, it'd be better if you all just to die together. Shut up. Shut up and get the fuck back! <laughs> well, whatever you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. 
Do I know it doesn't. Okay, all right. You can all die working together. You can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> okay. So long, farewell, or no? Okay. Man, father is in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's toss some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monodon, go get us some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Don't DMCA me, Twitch. Please. Please. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. So long, so long well. Okay. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. What are we going to do? Nighttime in two days. We'll be here in an instant. There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius and my tits. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? My internet hit the bra button. Facts. Well, welcome, Gagna. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. That's after we die, right? We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Do you have a course of action in mind? I'm gonna start thinking of one right now! Figures, I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. We gotta fight back then. Um, yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves even involve sneak attacks? Come, Gonta! Oh, come, uh, come, Gonta! And everyone! Gonta, use body! Keep everyone safe! My big body. <laughs> Not cool. You're gonna go against those machines, bare hand. Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it! If we don't, we'll die! But Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. <laughs> I'm calculating how I'm gonna murder one of you. We've no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way, are you really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. I'm gonna survive! I'm gonna make it no matter what! No matter what? Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't... Then you'll accept the blame. Huh? Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who'd be sad if I die, you know? <laughs> All of his stands out there. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Not IRL. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for everyone else. So that means... Anyways, I'm gonna take off now. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. Oh my god. Do his little twirly for us. <laughs> Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? I mean... Mew? Oh? <laughs> Not that I try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. Right, because everything we've seen from Mew up to this point just screams class. Uh, I think she's uh, adding on an additional CL to that. You know what I'm saying, chat? <laughs> Talking to you, and it's just exhausting. I'm gonna go back to my room and rest with this knife. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? <laughs> She's like, just like got pills and like weed. There's no need to worry, is there? No one is going to kill anyone, right? Mm -hmm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. <laughs> That's even worse. Mm -hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? That's of course, I know it would be. I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules that people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules, therefore we've no need to follow them. Don't say stupid shit like that! Even kids know killing is bad, it's common sense! However, even if it is to survive, we are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? AFK, I await your return, Gagna. What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. Yeah, I, I'm a little scared of him anyways. Twirly twirl man. Kyo! Males in the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If you want to stay alive, standing around grumbling is not going to change anything. Well, as things are, we're not all going to escape together going to die together are you guys okay with that geez are you gonna twirl too you're gonna twirl too 
Stop it. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided our plan yet. Right you can decide that on your own. Huh? huh? You don't your half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then... So just come up with a plan for yourself. Jesus, Maki. Brewster, you said you liked it? Okay. Wait, Maki, wait! Well, then. I'm just gonna pray to Atula. <laughs> Good plan, Angie! That is a great plan. Yeah, can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you mean? What do you mean special art commissions, huh? Have you been talking with Shadman Samugi? Oh, or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I <laughs> Chat, who's on the body pillow? Personally, I'm thinking it's Nagito. I just, I get that vibe, you know? <laughs> Forget these losers, Kaede. Kill Shuichi and get out of here already, right? But, but wait, you guys. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. Everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? Fine, then. All you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of this plan? Is my memory part of it, too? If it is, then can I even trust myself? Huh? Rantaro? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I, I like speaking in the third person. Rantaro likes speaking in the- <laughs> Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate Hunt? My dad took me on an Ultimate Hunt when I was 12, but I don't think that counts. What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? Oh, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused is all. Hmm. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my own talent. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me. Some, if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. Rantaro poggers, exactly. Man, he's a man of secrets, you know? Rantaro? Without looking back, Rantaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So I guess I'll just kill everyone instead! <laughs> I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and playing this entire killing game. It's all their fault! Hey, Shuichi, what do you think? Um, hey, Shuichi, what should we do right now? I'm... We need to move. Huh? huh? Move? I want to go to Maine. I like their lobster rolls. Shuichi slowly approached me as if wary of his surroundings and said in a hushed voice. Well, this morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. Huh? You mean in the library? Yes. So when we said we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Shuichi, Shuichi can I help you in any way? Uh, of course, okay. Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's, the What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? You guys planning uh, hot sex or something? Can I hop any room for one more? What, what's up? Uh, We're not whispering. We're just going to check on something. Hmm. And that thing is, <laughs> and that thing you want to check to check is a secret? Um, I don't know why that line was so weird for me. Sorry, all I can say is yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys how we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I see! Well, if that's how it is, then I'll believe in you! Yes. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. Fun fact, there are murderers. Is there? What? I thought this was a dating sim! <laughs> I don't know why the music cut there was so funny to me. Remember? <laughs> are we heading to the library? Yes, I'll tell you everything there. I'm Shuichi Saihara. I'm the ultimate twink. Please, step on me. Uh, where is the basement again? Frick, I forget. <laughs> Down, that way, okay. Hello, Angie. You know, I want to talk to Angie. I like her. I like Angie, chat. <laughs> Permadeath ultimate emo. What's up, Kaede? Shuichi, you guys want to pray to a tua? No, not really. If you pray, he will come floating down to carry you away in two days' time. Yeah, well, I don't plan on dying in two days. I'm going to get everyone out of here. I feel the same way. There might be something we can do. Why, that's all the more reason to pray. What? If you pray, a tua will watch over you both while you work hard. That's okay. I don't feel like it at the moment. Mm, I see. You're all going to hell. <laughs> Let me know when you want to pray. Bayonara! Oh, Bayonara? That's amazing. Do your little twirly, Angie. I love, I love Angie. She is great. Go down the stairs. 
Bayonara, bitches. <laughs> Bayonara, bitch. <laughs> Could you imagine? Gosh, if that was like part of the voice line. I'm starting to like Angie more, to be honest. I like Angie personally. I like her. What's up, Shuichi? Hey. Suck Ichi. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. As Shuichi said that, he moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Yep, we've seen this. Ramble, ramble, ramble. I don't want to leave the jungle. Oh, no, 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 no. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone. That's right. I checked it right after nighttime started yesterday, and the dust was there. But this morning, it, it was gone. So that means someone entered the store during nighttime. Could it be? That got me thinking. This may sound far-fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? How so? Remember, remember what the Monokub said? This school has a machine somewhere that can make a lot of pops. Okay, flashbacks. Um, so there's a machine that can build spare Monokumas? Because. That would explain why we saw Monokuma alive and well in the morning. At nighttime, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's what Monokuma just told us. A time limit? Yeah, yeah, two days. Four us three participate in this killing game will die. I knew. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? He went out of his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Huh? But why? That's true. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That would mean they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with the rules, but if he is trying to protect someone, that would imply that they're doing more than just Mono cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they are the mastermind of this killing game. Oh, wow. So I was wrong. They're not talking about the spy. They're talking about the mastermind already. So the person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of us? Of course, this is just what I've deduced, but it's entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I can only tell you, Kaede. Because you're my mommy. <laughs> the mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be... Among us. Sorry. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Hey. I'll kill everyone! <laughs> Mastermind's gotta be one of them! So what do you plan to do now, Shuichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, right? I'm... I'm thinking of taking the risk just before time expires. I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up, and I can expose them on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? That's... I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. Uh, okay, mauled to death. Hmm. To produce a large number of Monokumas, the mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Yeah. Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk, but, but I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. Yeah, oh, I'll take that risk with you. We'll play a game of risk together. Ah, but Kaede, this is just my deduction. Gonna get canceled on Twitter, VRV, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible that I'm wrong. Yeah, I know, but I've made up my mind. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, Suichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you too. You know? I'm blushing. I mean, I don't have a good reason of my own, so obviously I'll help you with yours. Okay then, let's expose the mastermind together, Shuichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. You have a way of encouraging me. I never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemy was within our group, hiding in plain sight. Okay. Yeah. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. And then when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? Right. I'm the mastermind, by the way. <laughs> Can I still be friends with you? After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Shuichi and returned to my room. Okay. Mm. Ooh. The cherry coke refreshes my throat. Like a nice drop of... I don't actually know where I was going with that. Two days from now, the stroke of midnight, night time. That's when the time limit expires. Until then, I guess I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about that. Free time! Yeah! Free time! Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go! I mono mono machine, whatever, free time, whatever. Wait, hold on, I should probably read that. <laughs> I should probably read that! Wait, hold on, everyone wait. Uh, is it this button? No. Alright, whatever. It's through here though. Uh trans backlog? Okay. Hold on! 
Uh, start an intimate event, mono mono machine, present, strength your ball in free time. Okay, cool. Uh, oof. I mean, I wouldn't skip it, but if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too. By yourself, that is. This is savage, chat! Why is green text man so savage to me? Are you kidding me? Alright, first of all, I need to find the mono mono machine, actually. Where's the mono mono machine? Where- I need to- maybe I need to check, actually. Where is it? Oh, it's in the school store! Right. Uh, I need coins, though, for that, right? How many coins do I have? 74! <gasps> okay, we got plenty. Next to the warehouse. Okay, cool. Who are we gonna hang out with? Alright. Um... Here's my two- like, I'm assuming they're gonna give us two, because that's how the past games have worked. Here are the two that I want to do. I want to do Tenko, and I want to do Ryoma. That's what I'm gonna do. Tenko and Ryoma. Uh, maybe Mew, if there's another one. And then I don't know who else. I don't want to do Shuichi, because I feel like we're gonna have plenty of time to interact with Shuichi outside of free time events. Um, <clears throat> and then I don't want to interact with Kokichi. Just in general, you know. <laughs> oh. Suichi is lame. Oh man, Rooster is gonna not like you from that. Oh, look at this! Mono oh, it's so fancy! Alright, here we go. Uh, let's twist them all! Sparkly sheet! Alright, you ready to gamble away all of our sorrows? Workout clothes! Tenka would like that! Okay. Fun book of animals. We love fun book of animals. Splatine Vogue. Oh, who would like that? Aluminum water bottle. Maybe Tenko. Who would like? Who's the pervert here? Is there? Is there even a pervert? Oh, Mew! Ah, feelings of ham. I forgot that Mew existed. I'm sorry. Uh, caramel. Okay. Or is it caramel? Chat. Is it caramel or caramel? Someone's student ID. Yo, it might be Makoto. They have brown hair. Robot oil. Oh, I know who this goes to. Obviously, Kokichi. Okay, hold on. Jelly balls. Mew likes probably balls. Ooh, lucky chance. Tattered music score. That's like for me. Are you kidding me? I'm a little present for myself. Pillow of admiration. Who's the big shrimp? Greek yogurt. Ah, just some Greek yogurt in an open container. Flame thunder. Okay. Art mannequin. Is that? Okay, sure. Weathercock of Barcelos. That's the most intense name of anything I've ever heard. Upbeat humidifier. And, it, like, it contrasting the downbeat humidifier. Pure white practice sword. Tenko, maybe? I don't know. Monkey paw! Mongi! Maybe Gonta would like that. Sugar. Sugar, baby. Monokid would like that. Home planet! Lucky chance! New record! Oh, <laughs> home planet! Jeez. We literally got that twice. Hello of admiration. Steel glasses here. Alright, we're starting to get a lot of repeats. Wearable blanket. Ooh. Maybe Kaito? Marigold seeds. Maybe Gonta. Bubble bomb gun. Kokichi? Question mark. Bunny apples. Don't know what that is at all. -na 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 -na. Jelly balls! Greek. More Greek yogurt. Just, I got like a massive Tupperware container of Greek yogurt. Just carrying it around. Put it in my backpack, you know what I mean? With the marigold seeds and sword. Ketchup! Where's Sans? We need ketchup for him. Ernest Compass. Oh, Himiko would like the blanket. Autumn, autumn colored scarf. Gundam would have liked it. Chat! This is from Ultra Despair Girls! This is the freaking tentacle machine from Ultra Despair Girls. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you actually kidding? Komaru would not want that, 07. Are you kidding me? Everywhere parasol. Dreams come true spell book. Emiko. Emiko. Everywhere parasol. 
gold origami. Who likes origami? More ketchup! Mix it in with your Greek yogurt. Make a nice little snack. Hammock! Kimiko. <laughs> a humidifier. Splatine Vogue. More Mew stuff. <laughs> Weather cock! I, I'm, I'm gonna give Mew the cock. Fashionable glasses. Rice toy blocks. Yo, cock. Cleopatra's pearl cocktail. Probably a Mew thing, honestly. Hand mirror. Probably Mew. <laughs> uh, latest machine parts catalog. That's for soda. Uh, Non-alcoholic drink of immortality. Kokichi? Question mark. We got a lot of parasols. Maple fudge. I'd, I'd like that. Give that to me, Kaede. Are you kidding me? Oh, I put in two on accident. Oops. Tattered music score. That's for me, bro. More. Oh, lucky chance! Dreams come true spellbook! Kawaii! Okay. Flower for floromancy. Okay. Wearable blanket. Oh, if we get two hangout sessions, we'll hang out with Himiko. There we go. We'll hang out with Himiko. Rock hard ice cream. Who likes right ice cream rock hard? Sewing kit. Definitely Samugi. But the question is, are we ever going to hang out with Samugi? <laughs> uh, parts catagog. Cheer coat uniform. Maybe Tenko? I don't know. Maple fudge? Mm, more fudge. Just, I'm going to stuff myself. Metronome. Are you picking like a metronome? Pocket tissue! Oh, Mikon would have liked that. Milk puzzle! Bro, this reminds me of Ib. Dude, if you've ever played Ib, you know what milk puzzles are. Oh, man, I love them. Rock hard ice cream. Cosmic cosmic blanket! That's for Kaito. And another drink of immortality. Cool. Rock hard. <laughs> Jesus, Diamond. Chill out. We are never hanging out with Samugi. I'll, I might do it once just to spite you. <laughs> just to spite you. I'll, I'll hang out with her one time. I better do it soon, though, because I think she's going to die, right? All right. Well, first things first. We need to go see map where. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go hang out with Tenko. You! <laughs> you! <laughs> I like I like Tenko. What's up, Miss Tenko? Shabashira. Everything about this situation is a total mystery, but there's one thing I do know. A degenerate male is definitely responsible for setting up this messed up killing game. Yes, spend time with Tenko. All men are rotten to the core, <laughs> but at least I can do something about the degenerates here with my Neo Aikido. Let's hang out with you. I'm glad we're playing as a girl. <laughs> I spent some time calming down Tenko, who looked ready to beat up the boys. You! <laughs> Jeez. Tenko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Tenko a present? Definitely. Alright, easy to move workout clothes that can wink away sweat with easy. You can wear. I think this one is hers. She'll like this. Let's give it to her. She, that took so long. She was just like, "Wow, <laughs> Kaede, what a wonderful gift! Truly, only girls understand other girls' delicate hearts." It'd be great if I can thank you in some way. How about I teach you a Neo Aikido move, or like, touch you a little? I don't know. <laughs> Kaede, is everything all right? Are you okay? Huh? Oh, what? What are you talking about? If you've got a problem with any of the degenerates around here, please tell me. I'll squeeze their necks like a snake coiling around a mouse. Won't that kill them? Hey, why do you say stuff like that? I've never had a problem with boys. You don't have to hide the truth from me. Shuichi is sexually harassing you, isn't he? <laughs> oh, Shuichi is... What now? <laughs> I see with Shuichi lot, so I assume he is exploiting a weakness of yours. Jeez. No, no, no. No, no. I mean, we do spend a lot of time together, but he's not forcing me or anything. It just naturally happened. I see. Then I guess that's fine. <laughs> what are you, heterosexual? Cringe. <laughs> it doesn't look like you think it's fine. But you should still be careful, okay, Kaede? Mass repo me degenerate males always have perverted fantasies running through their heads. Shuichi may be a teenage boy, but I don't think he's that bad. Besides, Shuichi seems sick. He was only looking at Mew's boobs earlier. He doesn't seem like he fantasized about that stuff. Well, how can you be so naive? Huh? Listen! 
society is 100% appearances, and they say handsome guys are always up to no good. So it means Rantaro is evil! <laughs> but if you ask me, unassuming degenerates like Shuichi are the most dangerous of all. Who knows what sort of sick delusions are in his head? I think you might be prejudiced. No. I'm not prejudiced, I'm telling the truth. She's already made up her mind. Don't you think it's weird for degenerate males to have ultimate talents in the first place? They're basically disgusting mud dolls. If those degenerates didn't have talents, this girl would be an all-girls safe haven. I wouldn't call any place where we're forced to play a killing game a safe haven. But you don't have to worry, because I'm here. My Neo Akita will keep you, Himiko, and the other girls safe from those degenerate snakes. So please rest easy and just let me handle things. Oh. Diamond, I'm not evil, because I'm not handsome. I knew Tenko- I'm like a four. <laughs> I knew Tenko hated boys, but I didn't think she was this bad. Anyways, you need to be more careful on Suichi. I know, perhaps I'll make the first move with a spine-crushing sneak attack! Don't do that! Why not? Neo Aikido totally allows that. Because it's wrong to be violent for no good reason. It's preemptive self-defense, that's the best reason there is. Anyway, we all need to get along and work together so we can escape. That's true, normally I never agree to work with a vile degenerate male, but... Oh boy. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think Tenko was that bad either. I, I, you know, I didn't think she was that bad either, but... Man. <laughs> After I calmed Tenko down, I parted ways with her and returned to my dorm. I'm glad she's worried about me, but her hatred for boys is a bit too intense. Oh, for sure. Give me another one. I want to hang out with Ryoma. Oh, I love this song already. Becoming friend. <laughs> I still have time. Uh, let's go. Let's hang out with Ryoma. Ryoma. Ryomiya. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, there he is. Let's go. Become friend. Yes. Exactly. Let's go hang out with Ryoma. I love him already, alright? He is Kaede's husband, though. Alright, I'm gonna make it happen, chat. I'm gonna make it happen. Hello, sir. Good man. Do you really want to live or not? Which is it? I guess I don't even need to ask. Yes! I don't even know what gift I have for him, but I'll figure something out, chat. I don't really mind, but are you sure you really want to waste your time talking to me? It's not a waste. You're the best dude here by far. Okay, I spent some time with Ryoma. <laughs> I like shorter guys, so. <laughs> okay. Ryoma and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Ryoma a present? <laughs> not really. <laughs> uh... Said to be good for beauty. It neither grants mortality nor does it taste good. Omelets, basic season. Sugar is not a seasoning. Weak hearted people should not chew it. It's really sweet. <laughs> do you want some Greek yogurt, Ryoma? <laughs> do, you, do you want some Greek yogurt? Ryoma's literally my least favorite guy here. What? How dare you? Oh, maybe he'd like this. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's very fashionable. Uh, love will stay warm. It protects you from the cold and makes you burn. Uh, how to raise hamsters is not what this book is about. <laughs> Farming. Moving around it is not is near impossible. Do you want this? This is meant for kids, not squids. Is that a freaking Splatoon reference? Are you freaking kidding me? I love it. I love it so much. Bears are not featured in it. A fashion magazine. Oh, for robots. That's for Kibo. Okay. Dude, do you want this, Ryoma? I don't know. Uh, good content. Astronaut selection exams. Do you want this, Ryoma? Oh, boy. A basic pendulum. With this, you can create gorgeous origami. Does not actually correct its wearer's vision. Rumor has it. Okay. Humans can't. Maintain. I don't know what that would be. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Oh, maybe I'll keep one then. Oil, glasses case. Even if it's stomped on by an Alexa saw. Uh, Alexa saw. Hey, Alexa, stomp on my glasses case, please. Uh, having us once you go on an adventure. Or it won't make them vanish. Ha! <laughs> Tetris. Uh, none of the wishes it grants have happy endings. Are you kidding me? A uh, pillow that sleep well. The dreams will show an entire lifetime, making you feel intensely empty after you wake up. <laughs> Maybe he'd like that? I don't know. Uh, a must-have for stalkers. Great. Great for gloomy people. <gasps> oh, that is for Ryoma. This one. Yes, I've got it. 
We got you, Ryoma. What? Huh? You seem like the conscientious type, but did I misjudge you? Well, I guess having a side like that is just part of your charm, huh? Did I... I no! What? I was trying! I was trying! I really wanted that to be it! What else was I gonna give him? What else was I supposed to give Ryoma? Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. As you can see, Monica has had a little too much honey. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. No, let's play darts, Monodom. Give me a dude. Well, I don't believe Ryoma. I... It said it was good for gloomy people. How is that not good for Ryoma? Is he secretly happy? Okay, the nighttime announcement. All right, I kind of, I generally tend to skip these announcements, but I guess the Mona kids are gonna be doing hijinks in all of them. So, at uh, this rate, the time will expire before we know it. I won't lose. I won't give up. Normal teen, I won't give up. Yada yada yada. Let's go to bed. Monica with theater. The what? <laughs> I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. Is that Celeste on the card? Oh my god, that's Celeste on the card. Chat. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But, uh, I guess guys can, though. Ryoma! Uh, it's gotta be a present suited to her taste. And it's gotta be a handmade present, too, so it looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's into strong men would love a handmade pro wrestling group. <laughs> She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes, so you'll make money off the wrestlers, too. Oh my god, are you kidding me? After they're done beating up each other, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win her heart. Chat. I really want the main character in one of these games to kill? I don't think that's gonna happen. Ding dong, bing bong! Man. Man's has a bad hangover. Ugh. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Let's have a wonderful killing school semester today. Ugh. Jeez, Monikin really drank too much honey. How long is he going to keep sleeping? Oh, by the way, Father's time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Farewell. Kill Shu. Why do you guys want Shuichi to die? He's fine. All right, let's go to the dining hall. Should we start preparing that? I'm getting worried. Oh, Shuichi, perfect timing. Shuichi, my love! Shuichi, I want to ask you something, but as soon as I answer the door... Too bad! It's me! Ah, ah, it hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. Same. But it hurts so good all the same. What do you want? Ah, I figured I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Uh-huh, your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Now, go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? So, um, are you gonna invite me inside for tea or what? Yeah, bro, let's have some tea. I want some tea. No, of course not. I want Shuichi love in the chat. Oh, okay, okay. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Jeez, that was super annoying. Ding dong! How annoying! Oh my god. Let me guess, this time... Yeah, I, I think this time it's gonna be Shuichi, right? Jeez, enough already, you're bothering me! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, should I come back later? No, Shuichi. Uh, voice impression, Monokuma for every line for two minutes, alright. Ah, I'm sorry, should I come back later? Oh, Shuichi, sorry, just ignore what I said. I wanted to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh my god. The voice impression is really... It's kind of funny, actually. Uh, I might know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Weren't we planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. Hmm. <laughs> god, I, that, that was a great use of voice impression, Diamond. Okay. <clears throat> we also need evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Cameras? Okay. No, cameras, silly. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. Oh, -ho! The, the, Monokuma, not Mickey Mouse, please. <laughs> Gosh, how longer, how much longer? Okay, we got one minute left in the voice impression. With some modification, we could combine the two and have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. If we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. And we don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we are less likely to get caught. 
Mickey Mouse is now Monokuma. That would be a good change to Disney World. That's a really good idea, but how do you know how to modify a camera? Ah, well, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask you. The ultimate inventor could help us. Oh, yeah, that's true. But she's pretty intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. Oh, sweetie. That's right. It ended? All right. Oh, in that case, we should ask her together. I saw Mew go to the dining hall. I think she'll still be in there. Ah, but we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. She might have the cheese touch. <laughs> As in Mew might be the mastermind? I doubt it, but... Yeah. Well, if that's what you think. <laughs> Stupid idiot, Shuichi. All right, let's go. Period. Yas Queen, period. Okay, sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to freaking do it. By the way, chat, I've started the uh, anime yeah, uh, on Wednesday. I started watching it with my sister. We got through the first two episodes. Uh, and all I gotta say to you, chat, about it right now is that you're all a bag of rotten oranges. Alright, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> you're doing the alternating order? Yep, I'm doing it all properly. My sister is, like, guiding me through like a young child through Disney World. Okay, uh, dining hall. <laughs> oh, hey, Karekio. How's it going? You doing well? Karekio seems like the kind of guy who is a power bottom. That That's a soul read. That's a soul read. Please never do it again. All right, Mew! Are you here? Ah, oh, she is here. Queen, okay. Uh, Mew is sitting down looking like your usual haughty self. What? Is that like haughty and naughty? Okay, it seems like she's alone. The perfect chance to murder her. Morning, Mew. Well, if it isn't flat-chested Kaede, what do you and your pathetic tits want? <laughs> thought, thought, thought. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Hold on, one second. We gotta test something real quick. Isn't this in the report card? Chest, 35 inches. Mew, what's up? Hold on, we gotta see what's up. Where is she again? Oh, she's right here. 39, ah, she is bigger. Ah, frick, dude. Wait, tw wait, hold, what about Gonta? 43! Gonja's got bigger than you, Mew, alright? So you can hush up about that, alright? Gonja got biggest tits. Okay. Um, I have a small favor to ask of you, Mew, right, Shuichi? Right. Yeah, actually, there's something that we want you to make. <laughs> we found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and, uh, do you think we can make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something? The hell are you gonna use that for? <laughs> uh, uh, to keep Monokuma under surveillance, we might learn important information. Yeah. yeah, exactly that. We're not planning anything scandalous, don't worry. No, no worries. Please, Mew, we need your help to get everyone out of here. Oh, I... Ah, okay, I get it now. Yeah. My answer is no! Huh? What? You, know. you plebes got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. <laughs> were, you, were you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? I'll forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. <laughs> I'll let her laugh. Without thinking, my body moved on. So, oh, smack her! Hit her, Kaede! Hit her! Punch her! Or you can bow. I personally, I prefer that one, but you can you can do whatever. Please. We're, uh. Dude, Mew shrimps right here. Oh man. I love it. I need your help. Dude, I I love Mew. She's great. So please. I'm begging you. We're begging you, Mew. Kaede. Kaede, I didn't know you were into that. <laughs> oh, and you too. Shuichi's like, oh, what I've been finally waiting for. <laughs> oh my god. I'm doing it too. <laughs> uh oh. No! No! We're not gonna stop! We're gonna keep shrimping and standing you until you help us! I've already subscribed at a tier 3 to both your Patreon and your Twitch. Please help us! Oh my god. We do! This the dynamic duo of Sucky and Chayede. Hell yeah. I'm ignoring what some of y'all are saying in the chat. Yeah, Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, 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 chat. I grasped Mew's hand. 
Thank you, I owe you. Even after we escape, I'll owe you forever and ever and ever. I'm, I'm not doing this for you guys, Baka. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so I was already thinking about checking it out. So I can kind of have my hand back now, because this is starting to creep me out. Oh, sorry, I was just so happy. But are your hands always this clammy? <laughs> anyway, bring me the security sensors and cameras before I change my mind. I'll be waiting in my research lab in the garden. Dude, we freaked her out. <laughs> Mia wobbled out of the dining hall as if she'd been thrown off balance. I struck her in the back of the head. Thank God, I'm glad we managed to convince her. Let's go to the warehouse and get the cameras and sensors right away. We didn't meet in the dining hall today. Sad hours. I'm out of soda! Other sad hours. Warehouse. The Wadenhauser! I don't know if that's a warehouse in German. I don't know what warehouse in German even is. This place is huge. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. Ah, oh, don't worry. I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Oh, you sure? Well, in the meantime, uh, after he said that, Shuichi walked to the back of the warehouse. Well, in the meantime, I'm just gonna smack everything! Yeah! You thought it was over, chap. You thought it was over. You thought I wouldn't be smacking anything from here on out. Well, you were wrong! The smacking goddess has returned. I'm gonna smack it all! Nothing will be left after my destruction. Get out of here, lawnmower. Shot put balls. You can taste my shot put balls of the smackage. Smack everything. What do you want me to look at? Oh, it's a high jump bar. Cool, I guess. <laughs> what, do I just examine stuff? Shot put ball. Cool, I guess. There's a wooden box. Are these iron balls? They look like they're for shot put. I picked one up to see if it was heavy as it looked, and it was. The athletes who hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hmm. Kaede, what are you doing? Oh, uh, <laughs> plotting your murder? Uh, Shuichi, done already? <laughs> yeah, I've got the cameras. I think street three should be enough. Disposable cameras? Will these work? That's all they had, but they work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Well, if you're fine with them. Well. Yeah, three cameras should be okay. And also, here's a security sensor. When the sensor picks up movement, it triggers its receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in stock. Oh, do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets and a spare vest, so there's still lots of room inside. Alright, let's go talk to Mew. As I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi, I suddenly stopped. Thought the thought, will these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone. But what did we do after that? The Master Ryan could just smirk in order to exorcise to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape with this plan? Hmm. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Shuichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Uh. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. Alright, let's go. I, I, when the shit happens? I, I'm assuming... I don't know what shit you're talking about, but the time limit expires tomorrow, so... I'm assuming shit's gonna go down then. Whatever shit you're talking about. Yeah. Alright, let's get a Mew's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. Oh, you mean the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs? At that precise location, at these coordinates? Well. That seems alright, doesn't it? Let's go. Let's go, Sucky! Sucky Suichi. Ha <laughs> ha! He's like, why are you making fun of me? <laughs> She's like, ha ha, loser, detective man. <laughs> Little fool, idiot. Sucky, sucky. Sorry, <laughs> Rooster's so sad. Mm. Hello, you three. You doing? You doing good, Angie? Sorry. Uh. <clears throat> Anyways, let's move on. Is it over this way? Maybe it's over this way. I don't know where it is. Oh, this way. No, that's not it. That can't be it. That's too big. Even for me, it's too big. But I'm tis. Oh god, where did she say it was again? That's the... Oh crap, I forgot everything. I forgot everything. Shuichi even told me where it was and I forgot. I think it's, uh, steps, right? Okay, let's go. Right? Okay. Yes. This, this seems right. I'm like Shuichi. I'm ready for the Shuichi Kinney comments. Great. Ah! Uh, here he is, the biggest douche of the universe. Okay, let's get out of here. 
Oh, that must be it. Let's go. Mew! We're here! Knock, knock! Open up! Right after I knocked, the door swung violently open. I mixed up the words again. You're fucking late! How dare you waste precious seconds of my time! Oh, looks like she's back to normal. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Whip it out already! <laughs> okay, it's just these, but... I take out the three... Hold on, one second, chat. I'm getting my water, because I am... Dehydrated. I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to Mew. <laughs> Disposable cameras? Kind of like, I'm disposable. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify? Oh, she's like, is it too hard for you? Mm. Huh, do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it, piece of cake. Ah, here are the security sensors. So you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? I was thinking the camera could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's ear, Meet me in the bedroom later at 2 a.m. I'm gonna show you my security sensors. Okay, what are you gonna use that for? That's... I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase. That way we can keep watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. Play Roblox? Uh, I will play Roblox on Sunday. That will be a Roblox variety day, chat. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Hey, what are you two whispering about? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Is that all right? I wrote down the details here. Mm -hmm. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And a third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. How soon do you need these? Uh, um, Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Of course I can! You could tie me up and drip hot wax on me and I'd still finish it in time. With that bold declaration, Mew slammed the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? <laughs> anyway, I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Mew to finish. Gosh. Um, I, I now know what I'm gonna give her. If we if we get a candle out of the Mono Mono machine, we already know where it goes, chap. Kaede, what's wrong? No. Nothing, I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Mm -hmm. What? You know, Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. <laughs> but look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is, um... Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Sherlock Saihara. That's what they call me in the streets. We went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. Get him, Kaede. Free time! Give me some free time. Free time, free time, free time. I want to hang out with Mew. <laughs> oh, no! Maybe she'll be busy because of the... Oh, no! I want to... No, I need to go t to talk with Mew! No, please let me hang out with Mew. I'm a Mew stan already. Oh, God. I admitted that, did I? Uh, no, I can't. Can I? Crap! I can't hang- Uh, well, if Mew dies first, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm literally gonna be, like, I'd be crying if I looked like that too, my guy. Uh, who do we hang out with, chat? Let's go with Himiko. Let's hang out with Himiko, because that was the person who I said we were gonna hang out with. I already know what to give Himiko, too. It's not a problem. Alright, where is she, by the way? I was not paying- I think she's in the dorm, right? Let's check. Hello, Tenko. Hello, Tenko! Not planning on meeting you here today. Click. Hello, Kimiko. Yeah. I'm tired from talking to Tenko. Himiko seems tired. Let's take a nap together. Uh, or, wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. Or maybe she can just take a nap and I'll sit in like a lawn chair creepily and watch. I spent some next time- Okay. I stayed time next to Himiko who said- oh, Literally what happened! Okay. You guys think I'm creepy for saying that. That's literally what happened, chat. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Himiko a present? Definitely. I already know what to give her. Dreams come true. Spell book. You must have used to find Himiko a good gift spell. I did. Well done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. <laughs> You've earned the privilege to give me more crap. Hey, Himiko, I have something I need to tell you. Yeah? No, I'm not listening. <laughs> you answered me, so you must be listening already. Yeah. Jeez. She's been like this from the start. Extremely lazy to the point of being troubling. Hey, if you keep being this lazy, you'll miss out on all the fun stuff in life. 
I don't need fun stuff. I just want to not do anything my whole life. You can't call that living. I'm not saying you should go overboard. But at least try to hide your laziness in public. Yeah, that's a pain. It's no use. I need to suggest something. Book in the library. Maybe. Oh, right. Then let's read a book in the library. Library? Oh, she sounds interested. <gasps> Going downstairs is a pain. Bring the book to me. What? But I don't know what kind of books you like, so let's go together. Any books is fun. Maybe I can just, like, carry her, you know what I mean? You don't have to walk downstairs. Literally- bro, it's like Monica! It's like Monica! <laughs> Reading's a pain, so I'm just gonna eat them. you um, what are you, a goat?! Yeah, she's the goat. Uh, yeah, even talking's a pain. How have you lived your life up till now? With magic, of course. All problems can be solved with magic. Then can you use your magic to get us out of here? Well, the tides still aren't right. It's such a shame, but my magic can't help us for a while. What does the tide have to do with magic? Friendship fragments! Hooray! We have obtained friendship with the lazy magic lolly. I hope you're happy, chat. <laughs> Parted ways with Himiko. Give me one more. Now, chat, we can't hang out with Mew. Who do we hang out with? Who do we hang out with? I, I need a suggestion. First suggestion that appears in the chat is the one I'm doing. I'm calling it right here. First one that appears in chat is the one I'm doing. Let's see. You really want me to hang out with Kokichi? Alright, well, I guess we're hanging out with Kokichi as much as I don't want to. Alright, where are you, Kokichi? You freaking loser. Here we go. Kokichi is generally my second out for Kyoko. All right, here we go. Kokichi! Oh, I can go into my lab, right? Let's head into the lab. I want to see what's up. Click. Oh, it's unlocked. All right, let's go in. Let's play some piano. Let's slam away. Unless it takes up time, in which case, let's not. Ultimate penis lab. Yes, I said it. Okay. Something in the center of the room caught my eye. I couldn't help but shout, A grand piano! Smiling, I ran toward it and lifted the cover. Beneath it, a clean row of black and white keys smiled. It was Monokuma! <laughs> I haven't touched a piano in a couple days, but it feels like it's been forever since I played. <laughs> I really am the piano freak. Do I just look at it? It's been tuned properly, too. I was concerned at first, but someone has clearly been taking good care of it. The mastermind is a P- <laughs> SMACK EVERYTHING! <laughs> Smack it all! Ah! Smack! Smack that piano! Okay. CD rack. There are a bunch of CDs lined up on the shelves. Works of minor and major composers from various areas and countries are all here. Speakers! It's an audio device! Looks like I can use it to play the CDs on the wall. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Let's get out of here. I thought there would be sunning here. But I guess not. There's music all over the ground. Kind of unsanitary, huh? Where is Kokichi? Hello, Kokichi! I will hang out with you for once. When tomorrow night comes and we all die, I wonder what Marikuma's gonna do. Will he end it or just start a new one? Oh, a new one. Maybe that's something interesting. Relax, I'm not gonna die anytime soon. <laughs> Dude, watch you be the first killer. <laughs> like, oh my god. I spent some time trying to prevent Kokichi from doing anything stupid. As you do. Na -na. Kokichi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kokichi a present? Definitely. Oh god, that was the first time I've ever considered pressing not really. Uh, Considered a normal condiment. Okay, write messages on omelets uh, for a maid. So that's Kurumi. Does he want alcohol, I wonder? <laughs> uh, caramel. Meat, soy sauce, eggs, and caramel. The flavors are all really strong and don't mix well. I'm sure he'd like it. <gasps> do, you, do you wanna, do you wanna look at the Splatine Vogue, Kokichi? I don't know. Or where's the thing that I, that we think, that we thought he would like? Where is it? That swell to marble size when wet. Gardening and decoration. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, symbol of the truth. That'd be a Shuichi. Oh gosh, where was the thing that we said would be good for him? Probably the gumballs though, right? It's probably the gumballs. Or the, they're not even gumballs. You can't, oh, hello. 
Oh, I can. Oh, there's more stuff. But something might good might something good might happen if you keep it. Uh, aluminum film. It has an odd number of petals to soothe the pain of unrequited love. Uh, by the way, marigold symbolized despair. Yeah, just by the way, guys. A replica of a student ID from some academy. There are many different designs of an ID of talented students. Oh, an extremely handy reacher grabby. Once you use it, you can't live without it. God, go away. <laughs> uh, lounging in one of these is something everyone's dreamed of at least once. Uh, a cleaning sheet. Can also be used to clean robots. Okay. Comes with narration voiced by a popular voice actor. Project the cosmos onto your bedroom walls. Okay. A robot mascot. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna give him the balls. Koichi, uh, I said Koichi. I'm thinking of the JoJo's character. Every time I say Kokichi, I'm thinking of Koichi. But I'm gonna give you my balls, Kokichi. Do you like it? Wow, wow this is just awful. <laughs> it's so boring that it's funny. Um, I don't really want this. Toss it somewhere else. Chat, I tried. Chat, I, j I. J the bubble gum would have been good. Oh, the bubble gum. Why did I not do that one? Thank you, Luminary of the Stars, Kaito, for the follow. Very appreciated. Welcome into the stream. Maybe I'll hang out with Kaito next. If I. So far, you filled half of your free times. Oh God. It's always the guys too. Uh, freaking. Um, Himiko and freaking Tenko both liked what I gave them, but Ryoma and Kokichi? I, d I can't seduce a guy even if I tried, chat. The main character is here, hell yeah. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m., but one of your bastards, this might be your last night time ever. Don't be do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night. <laughs> Oh, I get it now. I totally get it. It's crystal clear to me now. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. See, look at your face. The way your eyes are angled, the way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. <laughs> Monica seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? Bedtime or son. At least, yeah, I tried. I, I genuinely am trying. But people are a mystery to me, chat. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. Definitely not gonna happen, Kaede, but wishful thinking. If you want, I can Google it for the presents. Nah, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Oh my god. I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. On the day my daughter is to be married, I blame the parents. They haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who has done something for you. It will make that person feel happy and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. So always say thank you to people and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. You my sidekick now? Hell yeah, dude. I'm down. By the way, chat, uh, in light of that recent Monokuma Theater, thank you for being in the stream. <laughs> oh god, Monokuma is getting worse and worse. Wake up, bathroom, the day to am. Um, today's the day the time limit expires. My heart is pounding with excitement. Don't worry, even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game. You're just assuming they're gonna go to hell? This isn't, and you 16 are the who to leave and come as the humans. Hey, Monikid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey, okay? You're gonna give him more? Oh my god. He's just spouting off nonsense. Water time. You see this, Monikid? Drink some of this! Non specific branded water, because I tore off the label. All right, Monica, the time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. I love dying. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leaped out of bed. All right, first I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're gonna catch that mastermind together. Hope he's not freaking jacking it right now. That'd be awkward. <laughs> Shuichi! Ah, right in front of me. How convenient, Shuichi! Ding dong! And if you don't hurry up, I'm gonna do the bing bong to you. Okay. 
Ah, uh, no response. I wonder if something's not. Oh shit. I can't respect someone. I, every time Luminary of the Stars Kaito says something, I'm reading it in Kaito's voice. I've decided I can't respect someone doing number two in the shower. Never. Guys, Shimichi's fucking dead. No response? I wonder if something's the matter. Ding dong, bing bong! Don't be dead, detective boy! Da da da, da 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 da. Ugh, this game knows what it's doing to me. This game knows. This game knows. He, they know. They know what they're doing. Ah, Katie, good morning. Jeez, finally you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Ah, uh, sorry, I was just murdering someone. I mean, going to the bathroom in the shower. <laughs> Are you ready then? We have to get the cameras from you, remember? Okay. Yeah, right. Gosh. Yeah, 07 was about to freaking jump with joy. Oh my gosh. Give me something to draw. Um... Draw me a picture of a pig getting chased by uh, a tree, and the tree has like a knife and fork in his hand. Heck yeah. Hi, you guys. Hey, hey, have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to a tour with me? What? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. You two get along so well, I was hoping to rub off on some of the others in the dining hall. How are you talking about? A duo has spoken in such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Fighting? Oh, I should have hang out with Angie. Ah, oh, um, they're fighting in the dining hall. Uh, the, the dining hall! I'm German. <laughs> they're fighting in the dining... I said it again. In the dining hall, a duo is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Sweetie, can you go get the stuff from you? I have to see what's happening. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Nine hit Nate, yeah! Let's meet up later in the classroom by the stairs of the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs of the basement. Okay, got it. Angie, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. I like Angie. She's so, like, optimistic and, like, I'll, just, I'll die. I'm just gonna go to heaven. You know, I I like the outlook and I think it's hilarious. I, I do like Angie. My stream is lagging as heck. Write it in the chat. Can someone tell them what I uh, requested from Gagna? Because I can't tab out or else it messes up stuff. Someone someone tell Gagna. One of us. One of us. Jeez. Let's go. Who's fighting? I am your mother. Cut it out. Oh, God. Is Rantaro fighting? What's going on in here? Oh, Kaede. Perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. We almost started talking crazy. He wants me to bing his bunghole or something like that. <laughs> All I was doing was making a suggestion so that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Ryoma! No! Do not murder! So that more people can survive? Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know? The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? What? No, no, hold on a minute. Don't... No, Ryoma! I refuse! I love you, man! Huh? Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh, you don't get that either. I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well, so if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. Right. No way, we all promised we'd get out of here together. <laughs> I'd hoped it'd end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. So there's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? No, it's not idealism. This is the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well... How about it? If you've got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, well, what should I do? Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Right. Ryoma, there's no need for that. Mm -hmm. hmm? Fun fact, Ryoma have this- yeah, I, Rooster has been filling me in on who the voice actors sh are share. Ryoma's just upset at your gift? Oh no, I knew it! I'm sorry, Ryoma, I thought you would like the humidifier. I'm sorry, please don't kill yourself, man. There's no need for that, because I'm going to end this game. I've made my decision. I'm, I'm gonna kill you, Ryoma. You meet me in the back later. I've already decided. Huh? You're going to end this game? Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in the killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. 
Can you even accomplish such a feat? Uh, yeah. Well, I wouldn't be saying this, but this if I didn't think I could. Yeah. And how will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. What do you mean? I'm going to end this. Just what I said. I'm going to end this game. So don't any of you go and do something unnecessary, alright? Look at his eyes, chat! Ooh, that guy gave me Nagito vibes? Kinda, dude. With Rantara? Unnecessary. <laughs> when you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. <laughs> That's like his favorite line, I love him. Alright, I got it. I take back my suggestion. Watch he dies anyway! Oh, hey Rosie Sims! Welcome to the stream, it's great to have you here. God, watch someone kills Ryoma anyway. He's like, alright, never mind, I wanna live. And someone, like, conks him over the head. Like, oops, sorry, there's a delay in the stream. <laughs> Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope I helped him calm down a little. Any Dude, Rantaro, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I can see where you're coming from with Rantaro. He does look kinda... Whew, he looks kinda... Hmm, he looks kinda fresh, you know what I'm saying? He's got the drip. Call him Rantaro a drippy, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, Rantaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? What? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Okie dokie, then Angie will pray for your strategy success, Rantaro. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Hmm? I guess I have to do my best. Rantaro left, but what he said had really affected me. Ending this game, is that even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game. <laughs> you don't know that. I love Angie, dude. Maybe Rentaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. <laughs> In the end, only Atua knows. Ryoma. <laughs> Rentaro's hidden talent. Oh, Ryoma and Rentaro are still on the screen, by the way. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom by the basement of the stairs, right? Let's go! We have no time to waste. Me and Shuichi, we're gonna make out in the classroom a little bit. We're gonna stop the mastermind. They use the same frame. Yeah. Everyone knows Gonta's the mastermind, right? Everyone knows. Oh, speaking of the devil, what's up, Gonta? How's it going? <laughs> All right, let's head over. How's it going, Samugi? I think I think Samugi's probably gonna die. She just she just seems killable. You know what I mean? She seems very very killable, both in the game context and like meta context. Ah, Shuichi, where are you? All right, before I talk with you, Shuichi. Never mind. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm late, Shuichi. Ah, it's all right. I just got here too. How did it go? Did Mew finish the cameras? She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. And this one will take a picture and trigger the receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind the film, right? Yes, Mew thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. So once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. They're completely silent. This is perfect. Yeah. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh, and do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But... but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, though. Mew modified them to our specifications. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you a little about this classroom before we set up in the library. Huh? Tell me about this classroom. Yes, I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. That's fine, but why this classroom? Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Oh, that is true. You can see the staircase, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hat boy has really thought about everything. Mm, Sucky has really thought about everything here. <laughs> hey, there's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason. What is it? Tell me. Hey. It's because it's something something that's only here. Well, let me smack everything around first before we before we go ahead with that. Let me just let me just smack you everything, huh? Yeah, get out of here, get out of here, boys. Oh, is it the vent? 
Is it a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Mm. The smell? After Shichi told me that, I leaned in closer to the vent. Oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Yeah. It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. True Remember. facts. Remember the duct we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads there. Here. Here. Not there. But a vent in the classroom? That's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. You know. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. Let's go, Shuichi! It's finally time to set our plan into motion. I'm getting nervous. Mm, my heart is racing. It's, it's a NASCAR driver, chat. My heart is a NASCAR driver. It's racing. It's stepping on the gas, gas, gas. Hajime. All right, sorry. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat. For all these voices. Mm. I need the Wata. Let's go. Library. Get into the library. I've always said library ever since I played Undertale for the first time. I don't know. It was just a gag that really stuck with me. <clears throat> so where did you want to place the cameras? Let's aim the one linked at the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase, yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then where are we putting the other two sensors? Well, the other two entrances, well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance through the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at the end of each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. But how about over there? Oh, didn't you say a person can fit through that vent that connects to the classroom? Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person can actually fit through it? I think it'll be fine since we were be keeping watch in the classroom, but we should investigate it a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high, hmm, we need something to stand on. What about the ladder for this specific purpose? No, we were gonna use the globe. Oh, I could probably use this ladder. Epic, I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. All right. <laughs> I, I I relate to that. Do you want to switch? <laughs> nah, I'm no, I'm more of a PS5 person. By the way, can you see my um delicates? Shuichi's like, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> he apologized. Oh, he apologized. No. Oh gosh. Well, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. There's a great covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? Yeah. <laughs> Did you break something? <laughs> I love how he assumes immediately. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. Maybe they can escape from there, you know what I mean? Like, once we leave looking well, through, they like a killer would be able to escape from there? The I don't know. I'm thinking of everything. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so uh, no one can get through. Uh, yeah. With that, I begin to arrange the books around the vent. Alright, cool. After I finished climbing, uh, I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Dot dot dot. Okay? Kaede, what's wrong? Dot dot dot. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's Ballads. You know? I actually really like complicated contraptions like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, you really think so? Of course. of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. All right. So let's hurry up and set the camera. Then... Yes, so. I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that... Uh, oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place the camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. Ah, right. uh, but with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right. That way we won't waste any time, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, all right, let's do it! Teamwork! Yeah! I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Again. Mm. Uh, there were more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end-to-end -end with cluttered stacks of books. Oh, right. This is nothing! It, it seems like a lot, though. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. <laughs> Literally nothing changed. 
Jeez, there's too many books. It might be hard to set up a camera here. Oh, I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. Oh my gosh, Kaede, chill. I continued moving the ladder as I kept organizing the books. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Jeez, these books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Uh oh. Ah, uh, Kaede, is this really the time to be reading a book? Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. Gosh. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um, looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? It'd be easier if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. Then I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Yeah, you look oddly happy. No, I don't. <laughs> ah, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Ah, and here I thought it'd be a good idea. We wasted multiple hours. Someone's already dead upstairs. <laughs> so about the places to put the cameras. Ryoma is like face down, like on the floor, bleeding from multiple places, and we've been moving books. <laughs> we decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase, and the camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way it will capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I, suppose I think so. here and this bookcase is good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they use. Yeah, yeah sounds good. Okay, cool beans. Oh, then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so that the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Yeah. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase, and we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. Cool beans. Let's let's uh, put the cameras. Yeah. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera mm -hmm. carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Yep, yes ma'am. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Cool, cool. This is a long sequence. All right, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. All right, now no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Cool. Thought, thought. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably. It will definitely work. All right, the final step, turn the sensors on. All right, we should turn them on before we leave. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if it took our pictures. Yep, yes ma'am. After setting our trap and powering the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. That took forever. Holy cow. But I guess it'll be important to the case of an eventual murder. Mm -hmm. Now we wait for the mastermind to show them. So I'm just guessing, because, like, time limit runs out. Someone's gonna die. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? Mm. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. Right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. All right, let's go. To the classroom! The, cl the room of class! Like Mew, she is full of class and a lot of a- Okay, anyways. Classroom, here we go. I do not know what's gonna happen. Ooh, the mood lighting. Everyone, everyone knows the romantic mood lighting is necessary for the murder academies. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... My flat chest. <laughs> Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh Kaede, okay. about the security sensor receiver. They're going to catch the mastermind hey. game. We'll be able to short game. Back, 07. Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Ah, oh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No, no you hold on to it, Shuichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um... Also, Shuichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why would you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, talk to me. We'll talk. You, you gotta stop being such a little twink, you know? Shuichi. It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially as since the ultimate initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. no, really, I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. 
It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But one day I came across a murder case completely by chance. I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one case. Even so, it's still amazing that you solved the murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if uh, it was really a good thing that I solved that case. Oh man, why? Tell me about it. Oh. The look on his face when he caught him. <laughs> on his gray, him. pallid face. He stared at me. Oh my God! Chill. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Chill, chill, chill. Later, I heard that he, oh my God. He murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. Oh the man. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. Oh boy. The told me the culprit was right to be condemned. The victim deserved it. Jeez. I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. Wow. That big yikes. Oh man, I feel that, Shuichi. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? Yeah, I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault. And I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, uh anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eye. That's why he wears the hat! Oh, my boy! Take off the hat, look me in the eyes, and be confident. Oh, my baby, Shuichi. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Sweetie's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Oh! My heart! My heart, dude. Kaede. Dude. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. <sighs> hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Hmm. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Just kill him already, Kaede. No! No! These two are not gonna die. They're gonna live the game, and they're gonna make many children. It'll be beautiful. Ah. You noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaky too. Oh, she's shaking. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Ah, I'm glad when they're voicing it, so I can take a water break. <laughs> I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. Oh, my heart. By my side. I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage. Yeah. You're not Monica. You can stand up. I already know what happens, but I'm gonna not spoil. Thank you for that. <laughs> Jeez. No spoilers, please. Definitely believe in yourself. Oh man. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. You'll try. That's a promise. It's a promise. A promise between men. <laughs> so she's like, what'd you say? And she's like, oh, did I not tell you? After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. What are you talking about? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Always blushing. Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles in everyone's faces. That's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. So we can smile with everyone else. Ninehead, I didn't think you were a Danganronpa fan. It's cool, cool. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer, and then suddenly the moment arrived. Oh boy, here we go. I'm excited. You've seen only all right. What is this song? Let's start the killing game. Oh, let's indeed. What is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. They need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. A lot of people talking. Oh my god. Who? Show me. I focus my attention to the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen while I peer through the gaps of the classroom door. They're all the mastermind! I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Kimiko, and Rantaro, too? Okay. The seven continued to walk down the stairs. I'm jamming to this right now. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro was with them, too. Didn't he say he would end this game? It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them, too? 
Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Enji, Himiko, and Rintaro. One of them is the mastermind? Oh, shit, dude. No. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? Right. I'm going to check out the basement. Uh, I'll come with you. No. no, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. Oh my god, don't die, Shuichi, please! Huh? Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. Oh, jeez. I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. Started cleaning for no reason at all. I just wanted to start slapping around everything. I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. Shuichi, please come back already. Don't be dead, Shuichi, please. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Okay, thank God. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Uh oh, oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Everything is okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? Oh. In one hour, everybody dies. Oh my God. There's only one hour until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happens so suddenly. Oh! My heart nearly left out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand suddenly went off. Shuichi, the receiver! Someone move the bookcase! Hurry, Kaede! Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me! Oh my god! I dropped everything I was holding and ran out to <laughs> yeet the broom! Run! <laughs> I could feel my heart beating fast. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Oh my god. This is such a jam! Right. Kaede, let's go inside. Yeah! Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had balled my hands in a fist without realizing it. It'll be fine, everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Shuichi who had his hand on the door. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Oh, okay, they're not dead, they're not dead. Well, never mind, your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Huh? Strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game room. Hey. Hold on, both of you, come with us. The mastermind is in the library. Huh? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now, we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? Are you serious? I don't really understand, but you just need me to Aikido throw who's ever inside, right? right? No, I'll do it! I'll be the one to take them down! Uh, this isn't a competition. I'm gonna open the door right now, okay? Come on! With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. I think Samugi's dead. I still think Samugi's gonna be the one who's dead. Oh, it just shut! As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Where is the mastermind? There's blood over there! Chat! We quickly walked toward the moving bookcase, and then not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw... Sumugi, Sumugi, Sumugi. Shop? Oh, that's a sh that's one of the falls from the warehouse. Rito! Oh my god, Rintaro? They killed him off? What? But I thought he was important! I thought he was important! No! Oh my god, he was so sexy! Rantaro Mami, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to us, lay dead on the ground. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, look at his body silhouette in the back. My class trial, our class trial. <laughs> My name is Rantaro Mommy. I'm fucking dead. Rantaro? Welp! Chat! That is gonna be the stream for today, everybody! Whoo! Buddy! That is going to be the stream for today. If you enjoyed, make sure you join my Discord. Make sure you follow so you never miss any updates with the stream. Be sure to congratulate the new mods on their position. And man, I had a great time today. They just killed the ultimate question mark. Is that allowed? I guess it is now. All right, everyone. We are freaking... We're gonna end the stream off here. I have mods. Yeah. 
I literally just added, I just, I just got mods today. But thank you everybody for tuning in. Yeah, I gotta end on the death, bro, you know? Gotta have that, like, suspense, that cliffhanger. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you all tune in tomorrow. It's been a great day. I'll see you all then, alright? Farewell, everyone. Uh, there we go.